Hello and thank you all for watching. This is Manny Sunny Sun for an astrological report. We begin with this full moon happening in the constellation of Sagittarius, July 2nd. And it will be uh, rich in crises, reorganizational, and changes of all kinds. It still blows a wind of hope. After the new moon of June 16th, that brought its share of challenges, but globally and on a personal level, uh, this full moon just questions our commit commitment to evolution or involution. This new moon on June, of June the 16th was marketed by the solstice period of Jupiter, Venus, and Leo in the constellation. These two have certainly marked our relationships, pushing us to have uh, to, to leave our house and to meet um, to meet exchange. This conjunction, of course, is among others uh, responsible for the. Uh, legalization of Jupiter, marriage, Venus, um, the gays in the USA. Helped by the train of Uranus conjunction, this is also the fall of this heat wave that is expected to last until the middle of next week, around 8 or 9. The train of Jupiter um, and Venus are separated. It was told the stories people um, who, who took shots in the sun while they were in the shade um, that long before the heat wave begins to intensify, some of you may have experienced beautiful meetings, uh, hot moments, spicy moments with their ro romantic partner, and others have lived n others have lived negatively. It can also manifest in relationship problems or even sudden breakdowns because Uranus, of course, which is the party, which is in the party. But if if that's the case for you, know that this break will benefit you. It is a result of the in inevitable change. It marks the end of a situation that is has lasted as long as it is um, that is good to let go. So this full moon, which is close to the Pluto in Sagittarius, uh, very close, it is uh, transformative, an announcement of crisis, r resistors, uh, but the will to change, and it will affect um, our current paradigms uh, very, very hard. Uh, the moon in these uh, in the rays of the ecliptic plane is in, inexorably uh, approaching uh, Pluto, and uh, prepare ourselves to let go or even the crisis um, or further analysis. And know that this change will push us to action because moon op opposite to Mars uh, to take action. This full moon uh, will force us to confront our limiting um, thoughts and tap into our own creativity, our own ideas that we had abandoned, a time that this question of, of, of getting the focus of our own decisions. This is the announced by the active harmonious appearance of a sextile to Neptune in Aquarius constellation. This full moon speaks of organization, reorganization, it inspires us uh, to dream, if we validate the monitor can lead to benefits of beautiful projects. The moon in Sagittarius therefore is the home of Jupiter. Um, which of course has always always been denoted as a greater benefic. It conjuncts to Venus and is also a pro a, a prodigal material um, uh, for benefits. Then it will be questions of finances, but also our value system. Um, it is also uh, semi square to Venus. It brings tensions, um, frictions in order to uh, question those values on which our actions are based. This last point is observed more easily with world news on Greece. Nevertheless, this uh, semi-square grows quickly to solve these frictions of marriage between Jupiter and, uh, and Venus. It promises our even greater opportunities. Associations to set in motion our own projects will be successful for material point of view, satisfactory and providing uh, some welfare. Until the last crescent moon, remain attentive to new ideas with the effect of Uranus opportunities arrive as quickly as it will disappear go so go for it um, with the Sun and Mars in this constellation of Gemini with with the Mars in the constellation of Gemini don't give in to mental tensions dispersions but the idea is to go uh, to work that that needs work to build up so because we risk uh, being caught up in this mental emotional dilemma which can also make us doubt our current projects make us a bit impulsive uh, there are also trips to predict of month. For many of us who consider making careful if you drive um, a, um, an automobile, 
risk of accidents, incidents on machines, or in general circulation uh, problems because Mercury is in sextiling to Uranus. And the latter is heated by the trying to Jupiter. The Venus Mercury square to Chiron can also uh, also make us trace back our our uh, old wounds and and fears of failure um, also can put us into situations where we feel inadequate. All this must be lived in consciousness. For this moon approaching a Pluto can help us overcome these fears, um, our difficulties, our blockages, our contradictions, and our own indecisions. But to take them and turn them into the engine that will uh, push us forward on these on the constellation Gemini to rid of these contradictions. Uh, he became a pos uh, po this becomes a positive, active role, lively, and turns into an outstanding negotiator. He took the time to reflect and realize his ideas. It has two contrary tendencies, one that wants to act right, the other fears for the safety. Then we expect difficulties in our own decisions or obstacles to further. The Pluto opposition here uh, put these obstacles and situations to learn and, and to transform. Uh, then, once the decisions are made, they will appear to be productive, especially since Mercury is currently in the constellation of Taurus. This period is chosen to travel for leisure or to start new projects or even conduct financial negotiations. That could also turn out, turn out to be advantageous. The constellation of Sagittarius is one who uses this uh, higher mind and its ability to unite and put them at service of the order and organization of the company to, so take the opportunity to put some order into our own belief systems or an ideal to raise uh, those base actions that occurred on the month of lasting foundations. A period of the full moon is light up during this period. So if you have affected by the square of Mercury and Neptune uh, between 23 and 24th of June, and you had a lot of mental pressure, disappointments also. Hard to see clearly ideas finally enlightened to... Um, um, that mood, even if there are still uh, battles um, that l l lead to the to the rest of the month, this is a good time to take care of your, your administrative delays, or this appointment you dread to fear of not having uh, the required documents. Uh, this re this request can can be like bank loan. Uh, it could also be that luck is with you. The coming days will be marketed by the consolidation of ideas. We exchange a lot and we discover new opportunities. Sometimes after crossing the desert, the master of the moon and sun are in harmonic appearance. Jupiter and Mercury sextiling while you travel, we open up to new ideas, new people. Some will have to abandon the uh, life coming, um, abandon in the coming days to make way for the new. You might also be surprised uh, by this month and not without any emotion, emotional or mental tensions but which uh, can be used as a motor and not an excuse to procrastinate because uh, blocking resistance and energy are also present in the tight uh, between the semi square to Saturn and Pluto. So, no discouragement or pessimism here. This full moon offers complete opportunities for achievement and should not be overlooked. This uh, moon is parallel to Saturn retrograde in the constellation of Libra and so it promises us bonds, organizational, organizations every day both parental archetypes enable associations and actions being trained to the last um, in time. They also allow to include all material ideas that we had have uh, earlier this month in order to transform uh, them into actions that will be um, okay to un undertake them during the rest of the month. There also may be an increase of uh, in responsibilities at work, family, and we will be happy to under un undertake these uh, mere obligations especially those that we defer until later for some time. Saturn is in retrograde and it could present us with old situations that have lasted too long in which we are uh, stuck or mired and where finally offers us a way out. But only if we accept the work and demand it responsibility, the parental coupled with the moon Saturn axis asks us to take advantage of the um, of the redesigning to change our own paradigms. We take control, be our own parents, become more accountable and restore order in our own finances or because this is a time that we may follow. We have uh, too closely have managed the budget to monetize our efforts, projects, and learn from our past sustainable 
uh, education for reconstruction. I see changes in the professional level or at the home. At home there are moving possibilities, inst installations for those who are more mobile. And for those who are not involved, there is an increase of responsibility or simply an awareness that we must change things to act more adult. As always, the aspects of the Galactic Center, we speak of the arrival of unexpected events and, or, or processors in our own lives. This trying to Uranus may indicate a meeting likely to help us dare to act in uh, from our old routine and thereby initiate a renaissance. And in this grand trine, this couple uh, with Jupiter-Venus conjunction is also involved to um, help those that are single to keep your eyes open and do not refuse the opportunity. The opportunity can also help um, ha also happen in uh, opportunities within partnerships, new contracts. This new global point of view, you are not without noticing economic news of Greece with a uh, couple with Jupiter-Venus puts a finance in the spotlight. Pluto conjoins with the moon opposite to the sun uh, brings a grain of salt or spice accurate to the semi-square um, between Saturn and Pluto sprinkles all resistance to change from the financial institutions to this austere uh, to this austere patriarchal system of the part Alexis Tsipiras, the Greek minister of Greek Prime Minister this is done in the same spirit as for us individually the couple with the moon Saturn in parallel and the sun moon opposition couples create a generational conflict between the IMF and child and child paternalistic disobedient Greece. Here we find revolution, idealism, uh, with the sun trying to Neptune uh, in Aquarius, constellations and popular ideas represented by the Syrian party. The galactic center gate of civilizational changes input is um, its input is trying to Uranus, revolutionary rebellion, uh, which sticks to his portrait that is currently happening in Greece. Uh, a fight that David against Goliath that will adjust in the next Sunday's referendum. Uh, proposed by Tespiras, who involves in his in his premiership, this dual energy of Gemini is represented because Greece is divided into two, those uh, for for and those against the referendum. So, Tispiris is opposed to the financial authorities, uh, Sun opposite of Pluto, and therefore refuses austerity. Uh, Pluto, semi-square to Saturn, exact with Greece, does not honor the repayment of agreement with Saturn and Libra, contracts. Paris wants to submit into this financial institution. Europe and child refuses to be suffocating. Greece, of course, is divided by an ideological and financial debate, and a voltage related to survival Pluto with uh, the moon day-to-day uh, -day activities. It is interesting to observe what is happening in Greece since the debate that concerns all Greece appears assume his uh, difficulties with dignity. She fights Sun with Mars to maintain in his house uh, house life. Saturn, uh, Saturn parallel with the moon. After that she questions the world financial powers. Parents want to submit in this role financial institutions, Europe, and child refuses to be suffocating. Greece is divided by an ideological and financial debate, and voltage related to survival, Pluto, uh, daily, moon. Uh, it is interesting to observe what is happening in Greece since uh, the debate that concerns us all. Greece appears to assume its difficulties with dignity. She fights uh, Sun Mars to maintain its home life. Saturn parallels with the moon, and for that she questions the world financially. Uh, she questions the world and the financial power, and she asks Europe. It puts out the company face to its uh, itself in the global quest for objectivity. The principle of a full moon when the sun when the sun is opposite to the moon, it creates friction, tensions, and this leads uh, this leads to question the uh, this leads to a questioning reassessment. This grind trying to the galactic center, the door of civilization or change. With Uranus, Venus, and Jupiter gives Greece a hope because, despite the plea in the IMF, the Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tispiras held a speech of hope almost revolutionary, which, uh, of course, reflected the, the, the desire to keep uh, Greece's dignity. A revolution of wind would blow if the uh, blow it on the global economy. Greece was the first industrialized country to make debt repayment uh, default to the IMF and its partners. Uranus and Pisces 
It's constellation Sesi Squadron parallel to the Black Moon in Leo. The constellation uh, Greeks, uh, disobedient. Um, it is threatened with the ejection from the IMF. As with the individual, Greece will have to work with the um, requirement of a crisis from which it would pose a more solid foundation for the future. This galactic center is giving a global impact in local events. What happens in Greece affects all. Especially in this country, it's at its birthplace of the Hellenistic civilization, which, of course, is with the Roman pillar, founder of the present Western civilization. Are we, uh, are we witnessing a symbolic fight between uh, the company as it was, uh, has become ultra-capitalist and the advent of a new paradigm, making the land which gave birth to the founding ideals of our era? This full moon asks us individually, but also collectively, we shall see how this political and financial authorities will react to this proposal to recast the fundamentals of our own society. Well, thank you all for watching. Uh, beautiful full moon to all.